Hello, my name is Jessica Early, and I wanted to take some time to introduce you to who I am as an artist, an educator, and a person. I also want to introduce you to an art program that I created that addresses artistic needs for children in the court system. As an artist, I focus on humanity and a person's interaction with the world. My main artistic focus is through photography, although I also enjoy drawing, ceramics, metalworking, sculpture, and more. There's a quote from the Brothers Bloom that says, I don't know about truths. A photograph is a secret about a secret. The more it tells, the less you know. This seems particularly apropos when dealing with portrait photography. A photograph captures only the surface level, and a photographer can manipulate the viewer's feelings about the model. Susan Sontag says, To take a photograph is to participate in another person's mortality, vulnerability, and mutability. Precisely by slicing out this moment and freezing it, all photographs testify to time's relentless melt. I take this to mean a photographer actively participates in a person's present and freezes it in time for their future. For me, my purpose as an artist is to both preserve the present for examination in the future and to also expose or highlight the struggles, celebrations, and achievements of a person or time. My focus as an artist is unbreakably linked with human nature. In my free time as an artist, I enjoy learning about new mediums, methodologies, and hobbies. I believe that all of these things have led me to be an art educator and to work with underprivileged and high-risk youth. When I was a student in high school, I did not feel successful in school outside of the art room. Through the years, I have overcome the challenges I faced in school and learned how to become a lifelong learner. As an art educator, I want to work with students that feel the same way that I did in school and provide them with experiences in the art classroom that allow them to explore their creativity while building their critical thinking, social-emotional learning, and expand pro-social behaviors. Recently, I have been working at a school that is mostly high-risk, multi-language learners, and students with special needs. The school did not previously have an art program, and I was hired to create an art program that addressed exactly what my goals as an art educator are. Now, working as an art educator in a Title I school and also working as a youth advocate for children in the court system, I recognize the need for downtime, self-care, and taking time off to decompress and de-stress. To do that, I enjoy going for drives in the mountains, hiking, doing gymnastics, going to concerts, doing archery, cooking and baking, playing the bass, and hanging out with friends. I believe that a wide range of interests that I have in my free time allows me to uniquely connect with students because I can find common ground with many of the students that I work with. Finally, I recently created a program called Rediscover You, which is an art program that I lead on Thursdays and Saturdays for children in the Youth Advocate Program. I had heard from many of the children that I work with that they didn't have access to the arts in the schools that they were attending, or that they were on behavior plans that did not allow them to attend art programs in their schools. I saw this as an opportunity for me to develop a program for students that would give them access to the arts and allow them to explore their creativity in a safe environment. Every week, we start the art program with introductions both of the students and of the program project that we will be working on that week. I have had great success in the program and have been asked to continue the program after my official capstone project is completed. I hope to eventually expand the art program to other art reach programs in Denver and potentially train other youth advocates to run similar programs in other parts of the country. Here are some testimonies from youth and advocates that have participated in the program. All right, so why do you like coming to art group? Because one of my hobbies is like to do art. Like um, when I'm at home, I just, I clean and I do art, I don't know. I like art, I, I have art class. Like uh, we were gonna sign the art for art class for um, summer too. Awesome. 
And do you get to do things in this art that you don't get to do in school? Yeah. Like yeah. Free art. Free art? Yeah. You only do that on Friday, but like still. And do you feel like you've gotten anything special out of this group? Yeah, funny people. Funny people? There's a lot of funny people here. Like one time they were talking about SpongeBob and I don't know. They were just like, shush, be quiet. And I was like, <laughs> what? what? Where did that come from? Perfect. And that's all it is?